Hello. I got a request for creating the option to work with work items inside UIF. So I had to create a special package because the way that the activities inside OpenIPA work require to run inside OpenIPA. So I created a new get package that you can download and install. It will work in any software that is based on Microsoft Workflow Foundation, but that also means it also works inside UiPath. So the common work item activities that we know from OpenAPA can now be used other places as well. So if you install the package, you get access to update and pop and delete and bulk add and so on. Um, so to demonstrate how this works, I created the workflow that we have seen a couple of times now inside OpenAPA, uh, just in UiPath. So I start by popping an item of a queue. In this case, it's the, uh, uh, you can see here, it's the UiPath queue. Um, I check if I got an item and if I get an item, I do a try catch and I run the workflow and then I update it if it was successful. <coughs> Just for demo purposes, I'm allowing that you can specify which workflow file you want to run. But by default, if we run a process work item workflow, that just prints out processing and then the name of the work item. Um, so I'm sending the work item as an argument so we can work with the payload and whatever files was downloaded as part of the work item. Um, if there's an error, again, I mark at boolean that we had an error and then I update the work item with status retry and I attach the exception so OpenFlow can decide whether to retry or not and, and so on. Um, then we delay a little while and then we keep popping and we need the delay so it's not constantly using CPU and network traffic. So going idle even just for a second will make this workflow almost non-noticeable. So that one is important. Um, so to see it in action, we can basically go inside here and say run in UiPath. Let's spell that correctly. Um, and and since it doesn't really use the payload right now, I can just click OK and I forgot to open the output. So let's clear that and let's rerun that. So now by adding that, you can see that it's processing running UI path work item. Um, I could add another one, uh, run test. Um, and here I can say workflow file name is going to be test.saml. And if I run this, it will now show test run test because test is the name that I used inside the test workflow. Um, but that also means we can now actually schedule work to run inside UiPath from inside Node-RED. So again, the same example, I just push an item to the work item queue and the robot does it. And I can also add the workflow name and now it runs the test workflow instead. And I can, of course, do the same from OpenAPA. So I can push an item to the queue. It runs it. Didn't it? Yeah, it did. <laughs> uh, and I can run a specific file if I want instead. Um, and it runs test. Uh, and as always, we can now keep track and see statuses inside OpenFlow. I hope this is helpful and uh, good luck.